vamos a empezar levantado. So, uh, let me adjust this a little bit. I had it right, but then I had a child come in and adjust it for me. So, um, start just by bringing a little bit of weight into your feet. So, that would be called standing. Take your weight just a little bit side to side. And um, begin this morning with a little pronation, supination through the ankle joints, right? So you're gonna let the ankles fall in and fall out and feel the weight of your body roll through the ball of your foot. And that's just seeing if you can wake up that tissue just a little bit. Now from here, spread the pinky toe and the big toe out on the floor, get the ball of the foot to, link, uh, to spread. And like we talked about with your hands, with your feet, see if you can keep the, um, the foot knuckles, that sort of base of the toes even in the floor. Now think about your heels and everybody with your knees soft, squeeze your weight towards the center of your heels as you spread the ball of the foot. So just these little actions will probably make you feel your glutes and your inner thighs, right? Just pull spreading out through the balls of the foot as you pull to the center of the heel. Good. Try that just a couple more times. This is a sensation just as grounding. And then you're going to exhale, open your arms. Just out roll the thumbs back for a moment. Take your chin over one shoulder. Look at that thumb. Buenos dias, pulgar. Take it over your other shoulder. Looking at that thumb. Buenos dias. Good, now roll your thumbs underneath you, roll your thumbs back. Roll them underneath, roll them back, roll them underneath, just waking up your shoulders. Good, I'm now bringing my arms more up to a T-shape. Let's inhale, sweep, take the arms up. And then from here, you're gonna exhale, see if your heels can rise up as the arms float down. Good, feeling the heels move towards the center of the sits bones. Inhale, arms up, exhale, arms floating down. Inhale, arms up, exhale, arms down as the heels lift. Try this little flow just a few times. Inhale and exhale, good. On this next time, go ahead, pause with your hands here at your hips. Let one heel move down as one heel lifts. Good, and then once you push that heel into the floor, feel the outside of the hip fire up, feel the inner thigh kind of rolling out so that you get engagement through the kneecap and through the outside of your hip. Exhale, change, same thing. Push through the center of the heel, feel the glute, feel the inner thigh, inhale. And exhale, change, inhale. And exhale, change, inhale. Exhale, cambiando, inhale. Exhale, cambiando, inhale. So when you change, feel your weight stay in the center of your heels, not sinking to your hips. Good. Pause with one heel down. I'm going with the right one. Now I'm going to lift my left. Let the toes come to the same spot each time. Lift the leg five. Lift the leg four. Lift the leg three. Lift the leg two. Lift the leg one, good. Set it down, toe ball, heel, push, and exhale, find the other side. So remember, the center of that supporting heel spreading out to the ball of the foot as the opposite leg lifts as the belly pulls in. Good, inhale, set the foot right back down. Exhale, now move the thighs back and your two arms up. Beautiful, push through your feet, open, lift. Good, let's try that a few more times. Inhale, thighs back, arms up, neck, check, release. Exhaling up, inhale, bajando. Exhale, abriendo los hombros, good. Inhale, and exhaling up, inhaling down, exhaling up, good. One more time. Let's hold on top with the arms out, lift, extend your chest back behind you. Take the hands behind the head for a moment. Let your head rest. La cabeza descansando en las manos. 
Good, now let the head come down. Take a little stretch of your neck. Good. Now inhale, your head comes right back up. The arms open. This time, manos en los muslos. And you'll inhale, estiramos arriba. Por la cabeza, por la cola. And then back down, your head moving towards your rodillas. Hacia las rodillas. Inspirando arriba. Expirando abajo. Good. Inspirando arriba. And exhale. Abajo. Good. So you want to feel un poco más espacio entre los homoplatos. You want to feel more space between your shoulder blades each time the head comes down. Uh, so you're stretching your rhomboids, upper spinal extensors, etc., etc., etc. Good. Inhale. Take that right back up. Now reach your arms behind you. Y vamos a extender por el talón de la mano. So reach through the heel of the hand, right? That base of the palm. Send it back, stretch the fingers. Good. So hopefully we feel now triceps, latissimus. Hold that engagement. Now doblamos, estiramos las rodillas. Now you're going to bend and extend your two knees. Arriba y bajo. Good. Beautiful. Take that one more time. Now a little pause. Sweep the arms out. Again, continue to estirar por los dedos. Stretch through your fingers. Down and up. Good. Just a few times waking up your glutes. La espalda. Inferior. Good. And now take the arms adelante. You'll take the arms forward. Same thing. Doblando por las rodillas. Five. And four, and three, and two, and one. Inhale, sweep, take the arms up. Un brazo abajo, one arm down. Estirando tu lado. Y arriba otra vez. Good, otro brazo abajo, other arm down. Good, as you stretch through the top arm. Inspirar, y expirar. Inspirar. Y expirar muy bien. Try that just one more time each side. Remember, reach through the heel of your hand. Muy bien. And now from here, let's exhale. Take your two hands together behind your back. Estirando. So stretch and see if you can get the palms to make contact. Open your chest. Doblamos por las rodillas. You'll bend through the knees. And then let your head Good, move towards the floor. Good, inhale, coming all the way back up. Leave your hands on your low back, step one foot just slightly behind you. So that's my left leg going back. I'm gonna bend the knee, take my hand to my ankle. Y vamos a estirar un ratito, stretch for a moment. Your kneecap. Good, exhale, setting that down. Same thing, keep your hands behind you. Step one foot just slightly back. This is my right now. And then really use the hamstring, find the hamstring. Take the foot up, stretch. Estirando por la rodilla. Uh, two and one, good. And then you can exhale. Let that foot come right back down. Good, so now your opposite foot, hands to the hips. Let the knee turn out. And then we're gonna stretch, put the foot up on the thigh. Push the thigh, the thigh and the foot together. Good, mientras equilibrándonos aquí. Good, so remember you wanna use the glutes and the inner thighs on your supporting leg as you open the kneecap out to the side. Right, so in that previous, Pose, we're opening the knee to the floor. Now open the knee to the side of you and you'll really feel the external rotators, beautiful. Exhale, arm down, foot aquí, baila, baila, baila. And then try that on the other side. So you'll lift the heel, open the knee, 
And then from there, so as the foot comes up, push the opposite foot down. Foot to the thigh. Empujamos. Good. And then leave your hands wherever it is you need. Just feel the hip, the inner thigh connecting. Dos brazos arriba. Good. Vamos a extender por los dedos de la mano. So stretch through your fingers. Exhale, bajando los brazos. And now también la pierna. Now that leg comes down. Beautiful. Shift away one more time. Picking up this time your left leg. You can take your hands here behind the thigh or take your hand to the big toe. And exhale, extend the leg. Five. So your spine stays long, big stretch of your hamstring, four, three, two, one. Vamos a bajar la pierna, lower the leg, and then otra pierna arriba. Good, so you're reaching your sits bone down towards your heel. And then exhale, cuando quieras, vamos a extender. You can stretch and extend the knee. Five, four, three. Feel the hip and the inner thigh on the supporting leg. Those are your points of strength. Exhale, release, hip side to side. Take your two feet wide. So now with your feet continuing to face forward, you're gonna open, stretch, reach. Open, stretch, reach. Open, stretch, reach. Abriendo las piernas, los brazos. Good, exhale, really push and ground through the feet as the legs come up, good. Exhaling into a lift always helps. Beautiful, so now two feet down, thighs back, arms up, inhale, sweep the arms behind you, abrimos el pecho. Good, arms back, arms forward, adelante, thighs, muslos atrás. And here we go, otra vez. Good, vamos a hacerlo, keep this little bit of flow. Good, exhale, reaching forward, and then opening your chest back. Good. Now from here, let's pause on bottom, una pausa, and then anchor your weight in your feet. Good, move one shoulder to your rodilla opuesta. One shoulder to your opposite knee, feeling the sides of your back stretch here. Good, continuing to keep energy in your feet. Beautiful, so now pause in your center, two arms. And remember, we'll take the thighs back now. Five, four, three and two, and one. Brazos también atrás, five, four, three, two, one. One arm forward, opposite arm back, five, four, three, two, one. Cambiamos, five, four, three, two, one. Dos brazos adelante, cinco, cuatro, tres, Dos, uno, good. Estiramos abajo. So now stretching down, bring your two fingers forward. One knee opens. Abrimos una rodilla mientras estirando la otra. Good. And then you're just going to switch sides a few times. So we were switching our shoulders. Now switch your hips. Una cadera atrás. Good, y al lado. Good, so one hip back, stretching, and then take that to the other side. Good, and just a few times waking up the inner thighs. Como no. Two, and one, beautiful. So now pause in your center. Take one hand to a tobillo. So your mano, like opposite hand to Tobillo, opposite hand to ankle. Inspirando arriba, looking up. Expirando, otro lado, stretching to the other side. Good, 
good. Inhale, looking all the way up now. Exhale, push through the feet and come facing forward. So now just turn, I'm gonna turn my right toes out and we're gonna open the arms and bend, good. Open the arms, bend the knee. Abrimos los brazos mientras doblando la rodilla. Flexionando la rodilla. Good. Open and back. Open and back. Open and back. Open and back. Good. So now reach away from the leg and toward. Reach away hacia. Y ahora hacia la rodilla. Y ahora hacia la, bueno, pantaría. The other one. Good, stretch. Reach so you push through both feet. Good, coming all the way over. Thinking about that extension between the head and the tail. Extendiendo por la cabeza. Beautiful. So now, let's just pause for a moment. And exhale, see about sliding your hand down this leg, stretching all the way over in a triangle pose. La postura de trikonasana. Good, move your hips a little forward, taking your head a little back. Now you can bend the bottom knee, take your top arm over your ear. Good, you can slide that back foot out some. Keep your knee over your tobillo over your ankle, over your heel. So push like we did earlier through the center of your bottom heel, that heel you got most of the weight in. Good. Exhale, pushing up. Turn all the toes in. Release the hips just a little. Vamos a hacerlo otro lado. So you'll try that on the other side. I'm turning my left toes out now. And then you're again, you're gonna open the knee out. And back, let the brazos también flotan arriba y bajo. Good. Down and back. Abajo y atrás. Abajo y atrás. Good. Making sure you feel uh, center of the heel spread out through the ball of the foot. Good. Your hips stable underneath your costillas, under your ribs under your hombros. Good, hold, estiramos afuera. So you're gonna stretch your reach out, away from the knee. Good, and then toward. So all this time, don't worry about how low you go. How much extension can you create through the ribs? How much opening is here, is available to you? Inhale, and exhale, reaching over, inhale. And exhale, reaching away, inhale. And exhale, reaching over, inhale. And exhale, reaching away. This time, if you like, you'll hold this coming over as you extend the bottom knee. Again, keeping energy through that whole bottom foot, hips, adelante, cabeza, atrás. Respirando. Muy bien. Pull your shoulder blades down the back. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. And now you're going to bend your front knee so that it comes over the heel. Top arm sobre la reja. Good. Open the chest. You can take that arm back. Good. Push through your bottom heel. Send the heel towards, so this sits bone is gonna reach towards my bottom heel. And that will get a deep, I'm sorry, reach towards the back heel. And that's gonna give me a deep, deep engagement through the hamstring and the glute. Good, inhale, let's just push through the feet to come right back up. Good, bring your feet in slightly. And now I'm gonna rotate my whole body toward this is my right leg, this is my left leg back. The left back toes are turned slightly out. Good, here we go. You're gonna inhale, stretch, reach forward. And now exhale, open your chest, reaching back. Inhale, stretch, reach out over the leg. 
Good, exhale, pulling right back. Inhale, and exhale, float out over the leg, really stretch the back calf. And exhale, pulling back. Inhale, stretching over. Good, now exhale, pulling back. Pull back here in the back bend, take the two arms up. And you can look at your thumbs. See if you can lift the arch. El arco del pie atrás, the arch of your back foot should lift. Good, and then we're gonna take that energy, reach through the back heel, back heel, pull way down as your hands come to your tobillos, los manos. Good, uh, los tobillos, and then I'm gonna take my right arm back behind me. Exhale, create a little parigrita triculas and a twist. Good, so remember, twist is through the upper, through the thoracic spine, not so much through the low back. Inhale, let's push through both feet. Pivot, 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 and find that warrior one situation on the other side. So start here, a little mini back bend. Exhale, reach, stretch forward. Good, exhale, coming back, opening the chest. Exhale, reaching forward. Good, exhale, pulling back. Inhale, moving forward. So when you stretch your torso forward, reach both hips back. Good, so that you have that energetic opposition, you're pushing back through your front foot. Pushing back through the back foot. Inhale. And exhale, coming forward once again. Okay, so you want to feel these muscles in your legs, really grounded, really active. Inhale, two arms up, gaze at your thumbs. Vista en las pulgares. Good. And then you'll exhale, stretch, reach, take that down. Manos a tus tobillos, hands to your ankles. Shoulder blades moving down the back. Good, so if you've got your left foot forward, take the left hand back, create a little twist, reaching, getting a stretch in your IT band. Good, let's exhale, push through both feet. Bring yourselves back up, now step the back foot to the front foot. Good, inhale, now you're at the short edge of the mat, take two arms up, and then you'll exhale. Find a forward bend, melt the top of your head down, shake it, no, 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 no. Not it, yes, see, 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 see. And then from here, let's put two hands on the floor, soften the knees, inhale, look up, and then exhale, step your right foot and your left foot back into a plank pose. From here, just reach through the heels, 10 and nine and eight, and seven, and six, and five, keeping your low back steady, four, and three, and two, and one. Good, inhale, two hips move up. Good, so extend through the palms. Now reach your heels all the way back. See if you can take the heels away from the toes. Good, push through the hands. Inhale, see if you can reach your right leg up, bend the knee. Beautiful, exhale, place the foot behind your right hand. And we'll inhale, push through the back foot. Exhale, find ourselves coming up. Good, warrior one. Exhale, reach that over. Parsvottanasana once again. Good, right arm reaches back. Parvita Trikanasana. Inhale, move back to the center. And then from here, bend the front knee. Take just the right arm up. Parivrita Parsvo Konasana. Good. Exhale. Hand moves down. Push through your bottom foot. 
Lift your left back leg back behind you. Coming up, if you can gather the weight in your heel, take your two arms up, warrior three. Exhale, step it in, and then turn it around. So we'll inhale, your arms are gonna come up, and exhale, take a long forward bend. Inhale down here, shake your head no, nod your head yes. Good, inhale, look up, bend your two knees, open your chest. Good, a big long stretch. Now this time, you're gonna walk your hands out. Let's go right, left, right, good. Find yourself up in a down dog, and then we're gonna take that down dog to a plank. Try that five times. Inhale, hips up, and then your hips back. All right, so trying to feel that connection between a supportive abdominal wall and a long neutral lumbar spine, spalda inferior. Down and up. One more time. Ultima vez. Good. Now from here, the left leg, the leg closer to the computer screen is going to lift. Bend the knee. Place the foot behind the hand. Push through the back heel. Stretch through your front toes, exhale. Taking the arms all the way up, warrior one. Give us just a few breaths, balancing the hips and pelvis, left hip pulling back, Good. right hip reaching slightly forward. Now we'll push through both feet, stretch, reach towards your front foot. Parsvottanasana, breathe, breathe, breathe. Good, so continue to balance the hips and pelvis. Ah, opposite arm back. So now you're, if you've got your left foot forward, take it back. Brazo izquierdo arriba. Good, exhale, release that. Let the front knee bend. And now that top arm is going to come forward. Utita hasta parzo as you stretch here. Exhale, relajamos, taking that arm back down. Now you're going to gather your weight in your front foot and just try to walk your hands out potentially, letting that back leg lift. Good. And then if your weight feels strong and supported, then finding a warrior three. Good. And then from your warrior three, back up and into standing. Just... This time, well, nope, stay where you are. Let's inhale, take your two arms up, big, long stretch. And then exhale, long forward bend. Inhale, look up, long spine. Exhale, bend your knees. Step your right foot, your left foot back. Two knees to the floor, elbows pull in. 10 and nine and eight and seven and six and five okay just working those muscles in your arms four three two and one exhale lift the hips this time the right leg comes up that leg bends it moves back behind your right hand your back toes turn out to face the computer screen push through the feet, bring yourselves up warrior two. So now we'll work in external rotation. Sequence this way, pull the shoulders down the back. Just a couple of times. Good, so now you'll bend, see if you can get that knee right over your talon, rodilla, sobre el talon. Good, and then from here, Go ahead, come straight down into Utita Asta Parsvokanasana, top arm, up, long reach through the fingers. Beautiful. And then from there, reach your hips back as you extend the front knee. Length through your neck. Good energy through those top fingers. Beautiful. So now, Top hand to the hip, 
And you're gonna step the back foot in, two feet. Good, so just, you can pause right here, kind of waking up all these sensations. If it feels nice, then you walk your hand out one foot. Exhale, lift the back leg. Good, and work to find extension through that bottom heel as you lift. Look, I get to use my handy yoga prop for fun here. Beautiful. Exhale, set that foot back down. Good. Push through your bottom foot to rise back up. Turn your toes in. Turn the opposite toes out. And we're going to just take your arms spiraled and forward. Step your back foot in. We're going to do that whole sequence on the other side. So inhale, look up. Exhale, come down. Take your knees, you'll step back left, step back right. Now, from here, you can stay in a full plank. Bend and strain the elbows for 10 and nine and eight and seven. This can be a little micro bend, six and five. Push through the four, three and two and one. Exhale, lift the hips. Long tailbones to the sky. And big breaths. Beautiful. Left leg lifts. Bend the knee. Oh, and from here, remember that stretch we did earlier where we took the kneecap to the floor? Reach the kneecap up into the ceiling. I really enjoy that big opening. So then from there, set the foot behind your left hand. La mano izquierda. And then you'll spiral back toes facing out. And let's try this here on this side. So lift up through the inner thigh on your back leg as you push into the heel. Open the knee, the knee comes over your tobillo. Two arms out, arms come out, scapula pulls down. Beautiful, so take that whole reach over, 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 Utita Asta Parsvo Konasana. Top arm over the ear, extend through the fingers. Beautiful, push through that bottom foot. Empujamos por el pie. And then you can take the top arm over the bottom arm, tree konasana. Beautiful. Now the top hand moves to the hip. Good, and the both knees bend, take the back knee, step it in, two feet. And just enjoy, I get a nice stretch across my sacroiliac here that I like. Take your bottom hand out. Before you do, kind of wake up the heel, the ball of the foot. So energize that supporting leg as you lift the right leg up. Beautiful, stepping that back leg down, push through both feet, coming back to your center, feet all the way together, just shake it out for a moment, just dance it out, just release it, and just see now we are on time. All right, so let's now move your blanket to the center of your mat. We'll try a couple things here. So, Blanket will begin using it as a little prop for your knees. I'm gonna set my knees on top of the blanket, take my shin bones, tap them into the floor. So now if we thought about spreading the ball of your foot into the floor, spread the top of your foot through all five toes. Sometimes just waking up that sensation will make knees cramp or make your feet cramp a little bit, but you get a little energy there in the bottom and the tops of your feet as they push into the floor. Now let the hands come to your low back. Move your tailbone down as you now pull your elbows together. So you want to feel your glutes and hamstrings, right? So they're going to protect two vulnerable areas here, the low back and the knees. So exhale down with your hands here. 
Let's lean back a little bit. Just getting your abdominals used to stretching. Good, I'm gonna turn my hands up and let the heels of my hands rest in my sacroiliac. Good, exhale. Now move your thighs back for a moment. Hands to the inner thighs, move your rib cage up. Good, inhale. Take your two arms all the way up. Hands now move, if you'd like, to the thigh bones as you fold perhaps more deeply here. Exhale, pushing up. This time, palms together. Let the hand stretch, reach, extend behind you. Take the top of your head down and let the arms reach in the opposite direction. Push, push, push through your feet. Exhale, coming all the way up. Now we're going to take heels of the hands, if you'd like, to heels of the feet. Talones at talones. And again, a few big breaths. Exhale, pushing through the feet one more time, coming up. This time, let your forearms come down. Let your tailbone continue to rise. Now, if you can set your whole sternum on the floor, that's good. Give that a stretch. Good, so this is opening your chest. Feel for a moment just the, your own lung capacity here. So breathe deep, deep, deep into your lungs. And then from here, we're gonna move some weight back. Now take your blanket, you'll place your forearms on the blanket, push your hands, again, remember, heel of the hands gives you deep energy there through your feet. And I mean muscular energy, not woo-woo energy. So push and lift. Good, let the pelvis come up. And start waking up strength in your upper back as you feel your neck really able to release. Bend the knees, slowly let that come down. Interlace your fingers, move your hands here back um, 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 into the floor. So now you're gonna press the outsides of the arms, your forearms, your antebrazos, into the floor. Let the top of your head La tapa de la cabeza, vamos a empujar. You're going to push that into the floor, right? As you lift, feel your shoulders, feel that strength there in the arms. Perhaps walk your feet a little closer to you. Bend one knee if you like. Bend the other knee if you like. Just practice bending your knees and lifting. Or if you'd like to shift some weight into your toes and then gradually bring both legs off of the floor. These are options. Push your heels up towards the sky so you feel the gluteal group, the hamstring supporting you and your shirsasana. Put a lot of energy in your legs, through the abdomen. And then as you feel ready, bend the knees, lower slowly, con control all the way down, pushing back through the arms, you lift, good, and then just get a real stretch here. Good, so now I'm gonna walk my hands just beyond my blanket, step my left foot and right foot to the outsides of my hands, and then voila, let my pelvis 
come down and rest on the blanket for a moment. So put your hand um, back behind your thighs and start to move just your low back. So you wanna feel, here it is, here's my weight back on my sits bones, here's my weight moving forward. When you move your weight forward, reach your pubic bone down towards the floor. Now keep the pubic bone reaching in that direction as you then bring your rib cage back. So you really feel the muscles in the lower abdomen engage. So here we go, reach your pubic bone down and then exhale, pull back from there. One more time, inhale. So you're just starting to wake up your belly and then exhale, coming back. So hold here, let your two arms sweep out. Okay, so you should now feel there's a little bit of weight on your tailbone, but it's mostly on your sitting bones, your east chiones. You're like a little stool. Good, two, and one. Pause, palms underneath you, lift the hips. Now push the sits bones up towards the sky. Good, take another big breath here. And then exhale, bring that right back down. This time, move your hips, move forward. Feel the weight equal and even in your two sitting bones, draw the abdomen in. Exhale, float your two legs up. So now your shin bones, those pantaleros, they're facing the sky. Still try to put as much weight as you can in your sits bones. Arms out five and four and three and two. And one, good, hold, feet to the floor, palms underneath you, exhale, lift the pelvis. So you're just really trying to push your feet into the floor and send the low back up. Good, so now set the pelvis down, take your forearms, your antebrazos are coming down to the floor and you'll lift your two legs. Extend one leg and draw back. Extend one leg, draw back, keep the chest open. Shoulder blades, la escapula junta. Good. Five and four and three and two and one. Good pause. Your two knees coming up again, your chest continuing to open. And now from here, you can just slide that weight down. Good. Bring your two arms up. Bring your hands behind the head, and then just exhale, pull the scapula off of the floor, lightly pulse it, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, hands behind the thighs, rock right back up to a seated position. Good, inhale, take a breath. Now this time, let's extend your right leg as you hug the left leg in, and then push and lift, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, pelvis moves down, hands move over towards your PA, hands to your manos on PA, and remember, move the thoracic spine in, reach the sits bones back and down. Beautiful, inhale, take that up, exhale, switch the legs. Opposite leg is reaching out, now you'll push through the hands, hands are reaching to the side, exhale, lift. And then you'll release, pelvis moves down, two arms float up, and you'll reach towards your extended leg. Beautiful, let's inhale, sit up. And we're gonna start doing a little shift. We're gonna come into a, um, preparing for a little shoulder stand. So I'm gonna do two things, I've got my blanket. Um, and I'm going to put my shoulders at the edge of the blanket. And just so I'm not putting too much pressure on my low abdomen, 
I'm going to prop my pelvis to get into Sarvangasana today. So I've put this guy here underneath my pelvis. I'm going to continue to just reach through my arms for a moment. Everybody, whether or not you're propped or not, just push your feet into the floor, lift the pelvis up for a little Setu Bandha Sarvangasana. It's going to help us wake up our glutes. Wake up our hamstrings, wake up our upper back. So think about for a moment, pulling shoulder blades together as you press the heels of the hands into the floor as you extend out through the crown of your head. All right, so your neck should feel nice and neutral. Exhale, release that. So now try to hold on to those energies as perhaps you bring your knees over your pelvis. And then exhale, let the pelvis rise up and you can take a halasana. So from halasana, just give this a few breaths, pay attention to where your weight is. You wanna feel again, shoulder blades together, arms pressing down. Then you can take your hands to your pelvis for a moment, bend your two knees. Give a little bit of weight of your pelvis to your hands. Extend your two legs up. And then when this is feeling comfortable, then move your hands a little further down your back. As you continue to pull the elbows together, feel the neck and the throat long and free. Give this a few breaths. Good. And then when you start to lower, take your pelvis back, take your toes forward, Find that halasana again safely. Perhaps you'll bend your knees here. And then slowly, with control, release your pelvis either back down to prop or back down to the floor. Exhale, the feet come down. You can leave your pelvis propped if you like and um, take your elbows, press them in. And now come on, if you can, to the top of your head and you'll pull your bottom lip, el labio superior, or bueno, inferior sobre el labio inferior. So you're going to pull your bottom lip over your top lip and feel a big stretch por la garganta through these platismas, all these muscles here. They call this nature's facelift. Fish pose, matsasana. And then we're going to slowly bring that down. Check your neck, allow it to relax. If you'd like to practice now, Urdhva Dhanurasana's final pose, push your feet down deep into the floor, bring your forearms back and your fingertips are gonna reach under your shoulders. And everybody can just take a breath here, just pause, get used to being in this position. And then when you feel ready, begin lifting your pelvis. And then if it feels nice, come onto the top of the head and then come all the way up into Urdhva Dhanurasana for five. Four, three, two, and one. Give this just a couple more good breaths. And when you feel ready, releasing with control. Good. So now we'll just prepare for a little shavasana relaxation. So if you've propped yourself, you can move that or shift that. Oh. And just come down on the mat. Let the limbs be nice and heavy here. Look for those places in your body where you really feel released. Really, the energy and the tissues in the on a cellular level have shifted.
breathe into that. And then when you feel ready, just rock your toes out and in. And then draw your two legs up over your chest. Rock your back. Just take it side to side. And then you're going to roll to one side. Rest for a moment. Push with your arms. Find a seated position. Come on, bring your palmas palms together. Bow the head. Close the eyes. Your practice is a gift. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.